Of the theme of your speech, see, I cannot say entire thing about the speech, but means mainly it is about that when India won freedom, many predicted that our experiments with democracy will not last. The program was extremely disappointing. Mahatma Gandhi once said, "Freedom is not worth having." if it does not include the freedom to make mistakes ladies and gentlemen wishing you a very happy 73rd republic day i like to welcome you all to the school times junior news network at mck i am ayush sharma i am your host today for taking you on a journey on this 73rd republic day that happened in our school with great enthusiasm and passion without any further ado let's get to ishan show our on ground reporter who will tell us the reactions of our beloved students before the event today we are here with some of our beloved students and let's see what they have to say what's your name my friend my name is sahil sharma class 9c what crew are you a part of i am the part of the dance crew how long have you been practicing for the event we have been practicing over here since 2 to 3 days and what are your expectations do you think you would be able to perform according to your practice in the day in the d day yes i am honest that me and my team would be performing according to expectations what crew are you a part of i am part of the singing crew and what is something that you have learned from this experience over past two days i have learned uh, how to work as a team and i have also overcome my stage fright wow that's fantastic and uh, how have teachers helped you in making you more confident about your music skills deboshita ma'am is one of my favorite teachers she takes us individually and makes us learn the songs and it's really made made us confident and also the amount of work which goes behind Shail, you've been with the crew and practicing with them for the past few days what are what are your anticipations for the program do you think all of your crew including you would be able to execute your preparations accordingly on the d day first of all hope that everybody is safe at the room and yes see of course it is a pandemic time and there are going to be difficulties regarding the practice but you know the determination behind all of this that yes we want to execute a good show that's what is motivating us so yeah i think yeah it will be good shayad you have been entrusted with a big responsibility of uh, delivering the speech uh, as a school captain so can you just give a centralized gist of the theme of your speech see i cannot say entire thing about the speech but means mainly it is about that when india won freedom many predicted that our experiments with democracy will not last long this our ancient cultures and rich diversity as hurdles in the democratization of our polity i just want to say that we have only nurtured them as our strengths okay so this is the main idea behind my speech it then it has been time since we have conducted an event this big due to covid so tell us are you nervous see not uh, nervous but i can say that we all just have a feeling that we have to do that event uh, very nice and secondly i have done a lot of events uh, pre covid but post covid and even such big is my first one so i think that we all have a feeling that we should do it better and uh, not nervous but i have a gut feeling that i will do it better. and how are teachers helped you in developing your skill set so as you all know teachers are the major role behind all these events because they have groomed me so much that uh, i am just here because of my teachers and they are the major pivot uh, because of which uh, this event has been a great success i think the reactions of our students clearly show their dedication and commitment towards the event let me show you some glimpses of the whole wonderful program Let's see what our teachers have got to say about the event. 
Hello folks, we are present here with our chairman Sri Kishan Kumar Kejriwal ji and let's see what he has to say about the program. And how did you like the program? Good morning everyone. The program is very good, very good. The kids have been working so much. The kids have been working so much. It was really good for them. Sir, do you want to say something to your viewers? Do you want to say something to your viewers? मैं आज ये सेवेंटी थर्ड रिपब्लिक डे पर बच्चों को ये बोलना चाहूँगा कि दे शुड थिंक अबाउट डेम्सेल्फ दुनिया के लिए सोसाइटी के लिए अपने बारे अपने बारे के बारे में कम सोचकर दुनिया के बारे में और सोसाइटी के बारे में बेसिक सोचें तो इंडिया पहले है और फिर अपने आप में अपन बाद में है तो इंडिया के बारे में अपने भारत अपनी माता के बारे में पहले सोचना चाहिए जो हमारे हिसाब से अपन को अच्छा रहे अगर पूरे प्रोग्राम को तीन वर्ड में समराइज करना होगा इट वाज रियली सुपर एक्सीलेंट एंड वेरी गुड प्रोग्राम थैंक यू थैंक यू माउस एंड डिड एंजॉय आह यस आई डिड एंजॉय इट एंड आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सो आई इज वेरी हैप्पी टू अटेंड दिस इवेंट did you feel that the students were on their expectations or was there any part which could have been done better? No, no, they have absolutely done their best because in the times that we are standing, the fact that we had online practices, the children have also come to school and practice, I think they have done their best and today's program is just a testimony to the fact that you know everything is possible for the students. It has been a big gap of one year after online events this week has happened in school. So what do you think, uh, did this event match the previous standards or was there any shortcomings? Oh, I think it was even better, frankly speaking, because I think due to uh, it's a pandemic situation and uh, students have been practice, practicing it online, so there has been more time that has been invested. Okay, so I think you know they have outdone themselves, and I definitely think it has been way better than we had before. So if you had to distill the entire experience in three words, what would you say? In three words, a fantastic experience. How they did you enjoy it? Yes. Did the students fulfill their expectations? They have uh, fulfilled my expectation. How are you feeling today? I am feeling very happy today because I got an opportunity to work with my students after a long time. Someone said right, acknowledging the good that you already have in your life is the foundation in all abundance. And our teachers have made sure that the students have acknowledged it by now. The world is full of gems and diamonds. I am very proud to say some of them are here with us today. I would like to welcome you all with the two senior teachers of our school, Shongi Mitra Ma'am and Dave Dhanu Ma'am. Good afternoon Ma'am. Before we start our question and session, I would like to ask a simple question to you about the Republic Day event which we had in our school. If in one sentence you needed to describe the whole event, what would it be? Spectacular. Okay, and how? Right. That's quite fantastic because all the teachers whom we have interviewed had the same reaction as always. So let's start our question and session now. Sure. Um, now the first question is for you. Okay. How much time did it take to make the Indian constitution? I think it was almost three years. Uh, two years, 11 months and uh, I think 17 or 18 days to be precise. Yes ma'am, that's absolutely correct. Okay. In which year did we first celebrate Republic Day? We first celebrated it in the year 1950 when the Constitution of India first came into force. Okay, man, that's also absolutely correct. Why do you think celebrating Republic Day is so important in our lives? It always, you know, it uh, reiterates the fact, and especially uh, in today's world, I think it's very important to maintain the sovereignty of the nation. Uh, where there are, you know, tendencies for to crumble into pressures of the uh, world uh, leaders. So therefore, it's very important that we hold on to our own decisions, uh, opinions, and whenever it comes to the uh, sovereignty of the country, it should be our own leaders, the people of India, who should be taking the ultimate decisions regarding their nation. So I'm sure after watching this interview, many people are going to be inspired by your words. I hope so. Uh, now it's a quite tough question for you now. Okay. If we were allowed to add some articles in the constitution of India, what would have been the center of attraction of the articles you would add so that it would result in the betterment of our country? 
Okay, being a teacher, I would like to uh, go for Article 21A, which is right to education at present. And it says that we are compulsory education for all children from 6 to 14 years. Now, but why 14 years? 14 years means uh, up to class 8, max to max. But then a child uh, uh, for employment purpose, a minimum graduation is required. So I think there can be an addition to that article where at least with 21 years, there should be free and compulsory education to build up the economy of our country. Sure, ma'am. I hope your voice is raised with the right people. Would you like to convey any message to the audience who are watching this interview right now? Is it related only to your Republic Day? Or you can say it anyway uh, for an inspiration to our young generation. Well, there is a lot to say. Uh, if I have to uh, speak to the youth who are watching, the people who are watching, it's that, uh, you know, you need to have an opinion of your own. Uh, not to be blind followers of what your leaders are saying, but to question. It's very important to have a spirit of questioning. And that, I think, uh, coming from the teaching fraternity, I think that's something that we need to, as teachers, need to inculcate that. Uh, that questioning spirit in the classroom itself and from there right, it starts because you cannot accept whatever is being thrown on your way without questioning the validity, the legality, whatever you like to call it, you know. Uh, you have to have a scientific bend of mind uh, to question that, uh, you know, and not to be blind followers, don't be the cattle, uh, but you have to be the leader. And in order to be the leader, you must have those qualities so that you uh, can uh, engage people, so that you can motivate people and inspire people in the right way. You can be their role models for them, but in order to become a role model, you must uh, have certain perfection that you need to have in your own life, then only you can be a true role model. Sure, I will take that as my point for my future too. Glad. And now for the last two questions. Yeah. Every year, India has achieved guest of Republic Day. Can you tell me who was the first chief guest of Republic Day of 1950? It was um, President Sukarno of Indonesia. Absolutely correct, ma'am. And on the last question for you, where does the Republic Day parade start from? It starts from the in New Delhi, that's for sure. And uh, it starts from Rashtrapati Bharat. Both of you know all the answers of my questions. Next time I have to come well prepared for that. <laughs> then next time, tougher questions. Yes, ma'am. <laughs>